Welcome back to First and Goals. Here we are, the Johnson & Wales in Seekonk, Massachusetts for the fourth annual Jarvis Green Foundation Wine Tasting Gala. So much beauty here. We have a Patriots uh, memorabilia, Dynasty. other things, Dynasty Jarvis. That's where it all began for you in the pros. Uh, talk about the foundation and what we have at this wonderful event. You know what, this is the fourth annual wine tasting here and uh, it's great to be back in Seekonk at Johnson & Wales in. And hey, it's uh, hopefully be a great night. You know, we're coming out here to help this event in single working mothers. And we have a lot of you know, old faces, some new faces here. Still kind of early waiting for the band to start up. And hey, like behind you, we have the dynasty here. We have uh, a lot of the member value stuff coming in just to raise money for the cause, man. And uh, to let people know that, hey, we're here, we're in New England area. We just need to support the fans. Let's go check out some of the uh, wine that Jarvis loves so much. Let's go check it out, Jarvis. Once again, a great party here at the Jarvis Green Wine Tasting Gala. Mike Wright from the Patriots. How does it feel to be here representing Jarvis and all the pro football players for a good cause? It's always good to represent Jarvis. He's always out for a good cause, and especially with Katrina and single mothers. Um, he's always out to do good, and we're always set to support him. And what does this say about uh, players out there in the NFL? It's not just about football. You know, Jarvis doesn't have to do this. You don't have to be here, but you're doing it for single mothers. I think uh, Jarvis and, and all the other guys that, that do work for charity um, just goes to show that they take advantage of their status and put, put it to good use. And uh, also the Patriots, more than just a team on the field, it looks like you're a team off the field. Tell me a little bit about that. We are. We all try to stick together and support each other. And like I said, with, with Jarvis or any other teammates that are doing something like this, we're all behind them every step of the way. Anytime Jarvis come in town and he's hosting something, it's always for a good cause, and I'll try to always try to show face and show support to Jarvis because I know if I was doing something like that, he would show support to me as well. And you've been helping the foundation for so many years. Uh, what does this foundation mean to people? It's, you know, with Jarvis, he, not only the foundation, but he, he's, a, he's like a, he's a people person. You know, when, when Katrina hit, you know, back uh, a few years back, he was always uh, helping out those people in, uh, in uh, Louisiana because he's from Louisiana. So anytime he's he having a Jarvis Green Foundation, I know it's going to be something good for the people. So like, I'll try to get me and my wife to come out and support it always. And also, you guys won Super Bowls together, a very tight-knit group. What was that experience like? You know, just playing with Jarvis himself is just like an experience in his own because I played against Jarvis at LSU, and I ended up beating him twice when I went to University of Georgia. So. You know, just being around Jarvis for the years that I did was like unbelievable. I mean, the guys, for him to be so big, you know, 300 plus pounds, he's soft, he's a teddy bear. He's a real good guy to be around, and I, I really admire that about Jarvis. Final question, what do you think about wine tasting? You know, I'm not a big wine guy, but I'm going to get my taste on tonight. How about that? We're in the back of uh, Johnson Wells kitchen hanging out. We have the wine event outside, but right now, Chef Paul can send me some oysters. I love oysters, love them raw, so waiting for the cocktail sauce. And after that, this is my little halftime treat. I'm gonna go back outside and have a little funny mango. Logan, what's up, man? Thanks for coming out to the event, man. Um, you know, thanks for supporting the Jarvis Green Foundation. I don't wanna ask you any crazy questions, man, but right now, I will ask you this one question. It is crazy. How you feel about uh, the situation with the lockout that's going on right now? Well, it is pretty crazy. I wish it wasn't happening, but uh, it's one of those things where the players are staying united, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna sit it out until everything's right, and hopefully that happens pretty soon. That's it. We're on the same team, man. We offer one cause: the players, 
Hey, against the owners, we could talk about it. NFL Locker, but tonight we're enjoying the Jarvis Green Foundation supporting single mothers in the New England area. Thanks again, Logan. Jarvis is doing great things, man. I'm having a wonderful time. Providence is, of course, a beautiful city. A wine tasting is, you know, I've been doing these, I do these celebrity events quite often, and I jumped at the chance of doing a wine tasting because, I mean, I'm a, I love wine. You know, it's such a great addition to your meal, but it's a, a kind of a chance to get to taste little parts of the country and of the world, and uh, it goes towards a good cause. I'm, I, I love the fact that Jarvis is, um, his foundation centers around such uh, an important cause, you know, uh, single mothers dis living in disadvantaged areas. You know, the only way that we can support one, or the only way that we'll be able to grow is when we support one another. Does that inspire you? You're a fellow celebrity, so to see someone like an NFL Super Bowl champion, how does that inspire you? Oh, it, it's completely an inspiration, and I'm not even going to get it twisted. This is a, this networking opportunity is going to work in my favor very soon. Every single event I've showed up to for friends, even though I completely support their causes, I'm developing my own foundation. So I'm learning from him and others, you know, how they, you know, uh, just develop their foundations, you know, hire the, the staff that pulls it along because, you know, you may be the face, but it's the volunteerism that really, really is the foundation of your of your um, nonprofit organization. So I'm learning a lot just being here. So this is a blessing for me. Well, great seeing you. All the celebrities Thank coming you. out here at the Thank Jarvis you. Green Foundation Wine Tasting Gala. Let's go have some fun. I'm a single mother of six children and we were displaced out of our home on Christmas Eve. And I was just down and out, um, news cameras everywhere, you know, saying, you know, what happened. I had two kids that were hospitalized in the ICU um, that had been intubated due to um, some mold at my old house. And so all hope was lost, you know, at this time. So when I got that phone call and I realized that I really had one, it was just, amazing and all I could do was just cry and cry because you always hear you know big celebrities um, you know he's never met me or my family day and ever before and just to get back to us is something that's amazing and it's truly a gift from God and he's our angel you know I feel like he looks over us and from this day on we don't have anything to worry about I don't have to walk around with my head down wondering you know how am I gonna get by and no one cares whatever because I know that through this Jarvis Green Foundation that anything can happen. If it happened to me, it can happen to someone else. For a wonderful evening and intimate setting, come to Blush Wine Bar in Providence. Located on historic Federal Hill, Blush is the ideal setting to enjoy drinks, food, and events with family and friends. For more information, visit Blush at 332 Atwells Avenue in Providence or call 401 Well, it seems this edition of First End Goals has come to a close, but another amazing event with the Jarvis Green Foundation. Talk about how great everything went with the wine tasting and everything else. Everything was great. The event we had at Blush, you know, that was great, and uh, a lot of people supported, raised a lot of money, and also the wine tasting we had at uh, Johnson Wills Inn. Great to see the players, you know, the guys out there hanging out, having fun. The community is just pr bringing money back for those disadvantaged single working mothers. And uh, you know what? This is the fourth year, and hopefully we can do it again next year and keep it going in the New England area. And what more do we have to see with the Jarvis Green Foundation? What's next for you? You know what? Right now, we're going to merge with Grill 23 out in Boston. We're going to do like a little wine social, bring you know, past, present uh, Patriot players, hopefully some Bruin players, some Sox players, some Celtic players. So that's going to be something good. And also, the biggest thing right now we'll be doing is trying to just merge with different restaurants in the Providence area, in the Boston area, and just raise money for the cause, man. Disadvantaged single working mothers. That's who we're trying to help. And what's your website? JarvisGreen.com. You know what's the 
thing too, Harry, I tell people, hey, if you want to donate the money, it's not about just the event. You can donate money anytime you want, any time of the year, 365 days. JarvisGreen.com, we have a PayPal account on there, and the money is helping those disadvantaged single working mothers here in New England. Well, big time NFL stars joining together for the Jarvis Green Foundation. It's all for a good cause. For the rest of the staff, I'm Harry Chickman with Jarvis, and we'll see you again next time on First and Goals. The Jarvis Green Foundation, sports legends joining together for a good cause, helping single working mothers in disadvantaged situations. The next Jarvis Green Foundation event is this October at Grill 23 in Boston. Come support Jarvis and the cause. For more information, log on to JarvisGreen.com. You too can get back with the Jarvis Green Foundation.